guys, welcome to another video on the JB hey. and Millie channel and this video is coming following a very special collab that we did on our friend Smash's channel so we are going to put a link to them in the description we recently worked on them on a collaboration video for a reaction to Sword and the Scoop so guys to see that full movie and our reactions please check out that channel now over to this unboxing so JB and I both had these figures when we were young and I guess just watching Smash's videos like triggered us to re-watch all the episodes, re-watch the movies and we're now going to do a little Scooby-Doo shelf with these figures on it as well so guys we will post some pictures of that on our Twitter account so you can check that out but for now let's take a look at these figures so let's just take a look at the back of the box first and um, you get some information about the characters. So Scooby-Doo, named Scooba, nicknamed Scooby, age seven, ambition to eat more Scooby snacks, dislikes, ghost, witches, monsters, and demons. Moving on to Shaggy. The name is Norval Rogers. His hair is messy. He's 17. He don't has, doesn't have any ambitions and he likes whatever's edible. So then we have Fred Jones. He wears a sweater, ascot, slacks, monk boots. He's 17 as well. He wants to be a successful inventor and he likes the challenge. So then we have JB's favorite, Daphne. Their name is Daphne Blake. They have perfect hair. They are 16. Their ambition is to be a famous mystery writer and they like solving mysteries and looking good. And finally, we have Velma Dinkley. Eyes are not so good. She is the youngest of the group at 15. It has, it has her ambition to get into Mensa. She likes science, logic, puzzles, and mysteries. Ooh. So, JB, let's take a look at these figures. Um, I feel like I'm going to rip the box. Oh, that is this. very interesting because the ages are specially. Now, obviously, there's some things like Zombie Island where Daphne and Fred seem to have jobs, but they kind of retcon that in Return to Zombie Island where they're students again. So I don't know if Smash can kind of gauge, because I, I know that if anyone can, Smash can, can gauge when these or what versions of the characters these descriptions seem to be based off. Because I don't remember Daphne ever wanting to be a mystery novel writer. Yeah. If anything, in, say, The Witch's Ghost, it seemed to be Velma who wanted to be shadowing Ben Ravencroft, who was the novelist in that. So, okay, it's so interesting. Okay, so little mission for Smash there to align these with some kind of TV character. So, let's see if we can start this out. There we go. So, here we have the figures. So, we'll work, I guess, from this side of the mission. So, the first one we have is Velma. So I guess because these figures are new, their like joints and things are a bit stiffer than what I remember when I used to like play with these dolls as a child. Uh, but I feel like this is a very maybe mystery incorporated version of Velma. It looks that way. I guess saying that, I think Velma is the character that perhaps changes the least in terms of looks and everything. Because I feel like the Velma in this is the Velma we have today. The Velma will probably always have, because even in What's New Scooby-Doo, when a lot of the characters evolve, you know, Fred got the polo t-shirts, Daphne turned more into the kind of 2002 movie Daphne, and, you know, Shaggy's changed a bit with the red shirt, but I think Velma's always stayed the same. Okay, so here we have Velma now. Like I said, they're quite good. I'm just going to try and, like, sit them up. There we go. Well, that's like me trying to do ring for her. <laughs> so the next one we're going to move on to is Scooby. And from what I've seen, I personally think they have the best likeness of any character. So I think the likeness here is pretty perfect. Yeah, that is that is phenomenal. Like, the movement on this toy as well is amazing. Like, look, this tail like literally goes full 360 degrees. There's like double movements in both all four of the legs. And like I said, just the resemblance is incredible too. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, and they sit down quite nicely. They do, so they can sit with Velma. They're cute, right? Yeah, that's awesome. And of course, you couldn't put Scooby without Shaggy. 
Again, I think this one's a really, really good representation. The only time they don't have this like kind of floppy hair is in Mystery Ink when they go to military school. But other than that, this is pretty perfect. Yeah, Shaggy is awesome. I even like the detail of the bottom of the trousers, how it falls onto the shoes and stuff. It all looks really natural. Just a weird thing to pick up on, but I actually Yeah, it's it. good, especially because it's like, oh yeah, he's kind of a slacker, he's a bit scruffy. So that works very nicely. It does. And of course, Fred and Velma are together in the box. Let's take a look at Fred first. Again, very true to form from the shoes to the trousers, everything. The one thing that I don't think has too much resemblance is the face, but the outfit seems pretty perfect. Yeah, and I like this classic outfit to be honest. I think this is perhaps the best representation of Cartoon Fred. Yeah. Because it's just classic, it's simple but it works. Oh my goodness, I don't like those legs though. Why, what are they doing? They're just like, I think because they're all the, the, cause they're all new, they're kind of not bending very well. So when I went to sit them down, the like knee bent backwards and it just looked a bit freaky. I mean, I'll play with them enough in time. I'll get like, I'll order a mystery machine and I'll, I'll pop them all in there. Okay, so you've saved the best to last. Indeed, here we have JB's favourite, we have Daphne. And again, I don't think Daphne's got too much likeness in the face. In fact, actually, it does, but for like the kind of What's New Scooby-Doo face, the facial features look very What's New Scooby-Doo, because she reminds me of how she looked in The Monster of Mexico, and even um, the um, Loch Ness Monster one. But obviously then she was out of the classic outfit and into the What's New Scooby-Doo outfit. So it's good. It's a good blending of What's New and Scooby-Doo, where are you? Indeed. So I guess if we were to say, compare these with what we'd consider a likeness, I think we'd probably put, is it fair to say Scooby-Doo in first? Mm -hmm. Then Shaggy. And then from here, which one of these three do you think has the most like likeness? Likeness, definitely that one. Okay. And then I think that's accurate, to be honest. Yeah, I think, like I said, the resemblance with these two especially is really good. And just the figures in themselves are amazing. They're so nostalgic. Like I said, JB and I both had these growing up. He did deface his mystery machine by writing his name on it and making it the JB machine. But yeah, I don't at know. Least you've got the characters again now, right? Yeah, I'm going to get the JB mach machine out again soon and hopefully get these people there because I'm sure it's in the basement. I'm sure I can find it. <laughs> So guys, please like for that and comment below um, if you enjoyed this video and the type of content you'd like to see next on the channel. So guys, remember to check out our reaction to the Sword on the Scoop over on Smash's channel. Again, link in the description. And for more variety content, including Nintendo, Minecraft, Scooby-Doo, and just so, so much more, please like, comment, and subscribe. JP and Miller.